You encounter minerals every day. From the quartz inside your watch, the gemstones you wear your fingers, and yet, you may not realize the abundant nature of minerals on Earth. Thousands of minerals have been discovered, but only 200 are common to the average person. Humans cannot live without minerals as they keep the human body functioning normally. We use minerals every day in our bodies and in many industries, but minerals cannot be made by man. Good day, my dear students. So welcome to our Earth and Life Science video lesson, Quarter 1, Module 3. So our topic for today is all about minerals. After this video lesson, you are expected to first identify the examples of minerals, explain the different characteristics of minerals, and develop awareness on the importance of minerals around us. What is mineral? Minerals are the building blocks of Rocks. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga materials na kailangan to form rocks. Pag walang minerals, walang rocks. What are the bases para masabi natin na ang isang bagay ay mineral o hindi? So we have these five characteristics of minerals na dapat nating malaman just to identify kung minerals ba yan o hindi. The first characteristic of minerals is they are naturally occurring. When you say naturally occurring, uh, they are from the Earth's natural processes. Uh, you must find mineral in nature. Hindi siya galing sa laboratories or hindi siya man-made. Next, minerals are inorganic. It is not a product of an organism. Minerals don't belong to any class of organic compound. Example, punong kahoy or dahon ng kahoy. So, hindi yan siya minerals. Bakit? Because galing siya sa living organisms. Another example is carbohydrates, proteins, fats. It is not a mineral because it is made by living things. Next, minerals are homogeneous solid. Meaning, they should have definite volume and Shape. They cannot be liquids or gases in room temperature. So, solid state siya. The fourth characteristic of mineral is that they have definite chemical composition. So, meaning they are represented by chemical formula. A mineral always contains certain element in definite proportion. For example, quartz. So, a chemical formula niya is SiO2. Ibig sabihin, uh, the mineral of quartz has one atom of silicon for every two atoms of oxygen. Next is calcite. C, A, C, and O. C, A for calcium. C for carbon. And O for oxygen. Okay. Almost all minerals are compound. Anong ibig sabihin ng compound? Meaning na compound is that they made of two or more different elements banded together. However, uh, some minerals are made of one element, such as gold, silver, and copper. The last characteristic of minerals is minerals are arranged in an orderly crystalline structure. So, we are now highlighting the atom arrangement of a certain mineral. Atoms of minerals are arranged in an orderly and repeating pattern. So, I would like you to take note the term orderly and repeating pattern. Meron tayong picture dyan, isang halimbawa ng halite crystal at sa tabi niya ay ang kanyang atomic structure model. Mapapansin nyo may dalawang kulay, pink at saka green. Yung malaking kulay pink will represent the atom of sodium at saka yung maliit na kulay green will represent the atom of chlorine. So, yung atom ng sodium at chlorine ay arranged in an orderly and repeating pattern. The shape of the crystal reflects the internal atomic structure.
Thank you.